Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a glimpse of my other work or my other office. So this is um, outside of Port Sudan Harbour um, on the Wingate Reef and uh, as you can see I'm pretty lonesome by myself there. And so every day since we've moved to this new location near the fishing harbour, every day I am in the water for at least an hour or two. Um, I would say between a kilometer to two kilometers of um, reef research I'm doing on a daily basis. Um, it gives me a nice break from the office. And so um, let's get right into it. So as, um, as you know, I came to Sudan because the reefs are disappearing. So I'll give you a glimpse of how this shallow area is. As you can see here, the live calls coverage is not even more than 15%. It's all very drab, everything's overgrown with algae and the only fish that seem to be liking this environment are the damselfish, which are very territorial to see. Once we reach the, um, the deeper end, um, still find some plastic, so just pack it and get done with it. Bring it back to shore, probably will end up back into the water anyway, but you know, just can't leave it there. So once I reach the drop off, the coral coverage goes up to about 70% and this is because it's a bit deeper. This area seems to have some cold currents coming up from the deep, which is quite cool. This is what we've been looking for, for our vault project. Um, nice biodiversity of at least 65% to what I am um, used to from my early years in the Red Sea. So, you know, I, I've been roaming this sea for 30 years pretty much. And, um, oh yeah, by the way, uh, they beautiful, these um, juvenile angelfish, I just love them. And there's so many around this reef, it's amazing. I've never seen that many together. Um, I have so many shots of them. So as you can see, there's quite some diversity there. The coral coverage is not bad. Um, in some areas, it's really, really, really good. Huge table corals, even spanning really deep. Some other areas have been um, have been damaged by, I think, 10 to 15 years ago, perhaps even longer, some dynamite fishing. Um, but generally speaking, this area is quite good and a strong contender for um, our vault project. You know, it has a nice, nice biosphere. Um, water seems to be regulated a little bit. I mean, once you're over that reef deck, you really go five to 10 degrees warmer between the drop off and obviously the inside of the reef. Here you can see some of these table corals. They look pristine, really big. They've taken hundreds of years to form and some nice reef fishes there. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this first week of being back in the water. Um, it's still, um, uh, difficult point you know trying to understand this reef trying to understand the currents so it's going to take a lot more swimming a lot more diving um, but yeah i do enjoy and then the occasional um little fellow like that one in the far off you can see that's a hawks built turtle um, that obviously saw me from afar and decided to <laughs> skip into the blue so I was missing a bit predators, um, also missing some reef fish like trumpet fish, uh, uh, cornet fish, etc. So there is some fish I don't see here, nice barracuda that came and had a look at me. And uh, after a few minutes, the turtle came back to, um, you know, we just swam alongside for a while. And when I saw it was going to go for air, I decided to come a bit closer. Um, obviously, I'm going to go too close for comfort, just keep on watching. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. And um, don't forget Operation Red Sea in Sudan. You can support us by either sharing this video, commenting on the video, or also doing a donation link to my website and the donation pages in the video or in the um, section of this uh, 